Hello, beloved. So we are in Matthew 2. It says, Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east of Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art not the least among the princes of Judah, for our, out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people. Okay, so the couple of things here. Um, there's two kingdoms. There's the kingdom, the king of the Jews, Jesus, and then the kingdom of King Herod. And with him, with King Herod, are all of Jerusalem. With him, the priests, chief priests and scribes and the people gathered together with King Herod. And then you have the wise men. Remember, there's five wise virgins who um, wanted to worship the king of the Jews. So there's two separate kingdoms, the kingdom of darkness and the kingdom of light. Jesus Christ is the light of the world that came from heaven, and King Herod and his are um, bound in iniquity and darkness. Remember, we battle not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual wickedness, against um, principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world. I, okay, so these are the rulers of the darkness of this world. And Jesus was taken up on a pinnacle, tempted of the devil, and shown the kingdoms um, and so he would give them a seat in authority. And in the book of Revelation of Jesus Christ, you see that the, um, Satan gives them their seat in authority, the beast. And so you have two separate kingdoms. And down here you see a governor, okay? Jesus, that's the king of the Jews. Jesus, the governor that was prophesied about. This governor governs the affairs of God's kingdom, okay? So, and he rules all, you know, his people, Israel. Now, not all who are of Israel are a part of Israel because clearly right here, all Jerusalem with him. So Jerusalem, the kings and the priests and the Jerusalem that was with him to worship, um, I mean, not to worship, with Herod the king wanted to go against the king, whereas these wise men wanted to worship the king of the Jews, Jesus Christ. There's a difference between the two kingdoms. One is the kingdom of light and righteousness, and one is the kingdom of darkness and unrighteousness. And their deeds are, they, they love the wages of sin, iniquity. Um, these people seek to know Christ and God's righteousness. So you see the two, two separate kingdoms, okay? And you see that in our kingdom, we have Jesus is that governor that Isaiah in 9, 6, he talked about. And um, the government will be on his shoulder, but he is a governor also because he's a mighty God, the Almighty. It says, um, Prince of Peace, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. A you know, he's a king, um, the, the mighty um, God, the counselor. And so he governs through his holy angels and his saints. He governed over Noah, Noah by faith believed God and hearkened to his voice and obeyed the governor, the king, Jesus. And in the same way, the um, apostles and Abraham obeyed uh, the king, Jesus, and went whenever Abraham was told to go someplace, he went there. The apostles did the same. When Jesus said, do this, they did it. Um, he, he governs the, the kingdom of light. And then 